Interventional oncology demonstrates its importance in the most complete and detailed way with the implantation of radioactive substances inside the liver for the treatment of primary and secondary tumors. We are referring to technique of radioembolization and its hybrid nature, being a multimodal and multidisciplinary procedure used especially in association with another technologies. We practice this technique using a multidisciplinary team made up of radiologists, physicists, oncologists, internists, gastroenterologists, anesthesiologists, radiology technician and nursing supervisor. The role of the radiographer is very important. The mages that are detected from a three-phase cut technique, from an intraarterial cut technique and from an arthrographic a technique must be obtained, processed, integrated and elaborated. After processing, they must be delivered to the physicists and the nuclear medicine physicians. On the basis of this data, it is possible to process a dose and to customize it. The drug is then produced in Canada or Australia, and subsequently the correct dose is given to patient. Let's try to understand who the radiographer is. We find him in operating rooms, in angiographic rooms and in the hemodynamic room. First of all, he's a professional. He's responsible for achieving a goal not simply carrying out a task. The radiographer is a part of a multidisciplinary group of professionals that contributes to pursuing a goal. Thanks to the acquisition of sophisticated instrumental techniques, the radiographer collaborates with the radiologist in order to treat anatomical areas deep inside the body using minimally invasive procedures. He uses refined techniques derived from microsurgery, pharmacology and bioengineering integrated with radiology procedures. The interventional radiology techniques should not be seen as being in competition with traditional surgical procedures but rather should be accepted as a sensible alternative to traditional surgery with the same results and efficacy but with a less invasive procedure, less discomfort for patients and a lower cost in terms of hospital stays. We move to the fourth floor of the Institute and we enter the Interventional Oncology Operating Room, consisting of a modern and complex radiosurgical room the so-called ANGO-CT room, containing an integrated hybrid system that combines the digital angiograph, the artist flat panel suspended from the ceiling, and the CT machine, the somatome sensation open, with a self-propelled gantry on floor rails that allows up to 40 slides per rotation, with a possible upgrade up to 64 slides. Furthermore, the same gantry has a width of 82 cm, wider than the traditional ones and more suitable for interventional procedures. Inside the room, there is also an ultrasound device to guide the operation with ultrasonic images and a large 6-inch color display with an extraordinary resolution, four times the standard high definition which allows you to adapt and customize its layout to every treatment. Both systems slide on the same operating table, making it easy to switch from one mode to another without moving the patient to another room. The interventional oncology radiographer 
manages two pieces of equipment continually, updating ardor to offer the interventional oncologist versatile and hybrid imaging strongly decided by Dr. Gadaleta and is involved in choosing the interventional devices used in the different treatments. The work of the interventional oncology radiographer is therefore valued and he is committed to continual professional development which progresses alongside the innovations in technological, therapeutic and interventional devices. The patient selected during SIR team normally arrives in the angiography room with all the necessary instrumental and laboratory tests. Otherwise, the tests are recovered from the PADC. After arterial assess, mostly femoral and angiographic study is performed by means of artography, panoramic liver arteriography and with the aid of a microcatheter and superselective liver arteriography. The diagnostic phase continues with a computerized tomographic study realized with a protocol named Arterio CT, which we developed. After administration of the trans microcatheter, contrast agent afferent to the target, four acquisitions are performed. The first arterial phase, the middle arterial phase, the end arterial phase and the late arterial phase if necessary. The vascular preparation will be performed with arterial embolization, for example the gastroduodenal artery, cystic artery and right gastric artery, followed by an infusion of albumin macroaggregates marked with metastable technetium-99. The patient is then transferred to the nuclear medicine unit to perform a sand graphic examination to simulate what will happen later with the radiosotope. After hepatic arterial CT, the first arterial phase, the middle arterial phase and the end arterial phase performed with rapid injection of contrast agent and acquired after 4 seconds are transferred to a 3D simulation platform that allows them to be transformed into a true anatomical view of the patient. In this way, the study of hepatic volume is facilitated with a detailed identification of the healthy liver and therefore of the hepatic reserve and lesions usually identified in the middle artery phase and of the perfused liver which is in the subject to radioembolization treatment. This three-dimensional analysis, performed by the interventional radiographer and the oncologist, is sent to the physicist to calculate the dose. The therapeutic injection of itrionitin microspheres will then be injected into the patient 10 days later with a microcatheter in the same position in which the albumin macroaggregates marked with Tecnetio were infused. Both the macroaggregate and the radiosotope arrive at the institute through a specific route and subsequently are kept under a hood where they will be prepared. The role of the radiographer, as well as the role of the nursing supervisor, is therefore very important for the correct execution of an atrial implant in the liver. <laughs>